Welcome to the Minecraft server setup guide. Basically, I'll be talking you through how to set up a uh, Minecraft server. Uh, basically, you start off with just one file, which you uh, have a link in the description to download. Uh, you notice it's a jar file. This is because uh, uh, you there's a little problem with the other file, which the uh, executable. I don't know if you, uh, it just doesn't use up enough RAM so that you can uh, run the server faster. Basically, you start lagging up and, sh and stuff like that. And um, it's better to get the jar file because then you can uh, uh, use this uh, special code and basically it just lets you use up more RAM. And I will show you how to uh, prevent a little glitch from happening, which is really annoying. Okay, basically you start off with this Minecraft server f jar file and a folder just to keep everything tidy. Basically you put it in there, open the folder, and you double click on the Minecraft server. Uh, you'll get a little pop-up like this, and basically all this stuff will come up. And it's just a parent start region, it'll just generate a load of files. Uh, don't mind this, because my computer is obviously fucked up. Just shouldn't happen to you. Okay, uh, when it's done, it's just a done, and that's pretty much it. And you just have to wait for a bit. And there you go. And just press X, and it should close. Hopefully. And this here you have the server properties file. This is um, pretty much like your options. Uh, you have your port, and you have your server IP. Uh, what you have to put in here is your so-called internal IP. It's not your external. This is what where people mess up. Okay, basically you go to uh, your start and you write down the search CMD, and it should pop up here. If it doesn't, you'll have to search it. Maybe you don't have it. Oh yeah, basically this is only for Windows. If you have Linux, you're pretty much on your own. So you write down IP config and you press enter. And you scroll up until you find Ethernet, oh, Ethernet, Ethernet adapter network bridge, or something in particular where it has IPv4 address. And here I have 1.192.168.1.8. Basically, you have to write this into where it says server IP. And one second. So it's 192. Dot one six eight dot one dot eighty and you save. And there you go. Now you got that finished. Um you can also close this. Uh, okay. Now you have your service set up. Basically it'll it'll know where to go to get to uh the internet connection. Now um also I'll show you how to uh get the uh, the, uh, the RAM thing I was talking about earlier basically you make a text document uh, there it is uh, it doesn't matter what you name it just name it Minecraft and uh, there you go okay there it is there and uh, you get this code which is which you can find in Minecraft's website which is basically like uh, oh jeez 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 Okay, sorry for this pause because I was just thinking where to go. Basically, you go down here and it should be this is Java X, just a load of stuff like that. Don't ask me what it is for. Well, it is for freeing up RAM and stuff like that. Just makes it a little faster. And you go back to your your no your notepad or your text document you made and you paste it in there. And now what you do is very important because if you don't do this, it won't work. You go to save as and the way you name it it has to be minecraft dot b a t if you don't do this it won't work it'll just be a text document pretty much useless okay then you accept that and there you go now it changed into this batch file okay, you can close all up this and there you go basically all the time you'll just be starting the server by clicking this and there you go 
Okay, now I'll show you how to fix a little problem, which will, there you go, see it showed up, warning, can't queue up, did the system time change, or is the server overloaded? Basically this means the server is out of sync. This is a little problem that you have to fix, so, and what you do is you go to your time, and you go to uh, just time date. This is one solution to it. There's load. You yeah, have to try everything just to make sure it works. And you go to change settings. Uh, continue. Uh, you have to press update now. And there you go. It's just synchronized now. Okay. When you've done that, even if that doesn't work, um, there's no problem with it. It's called multi core uh, synchronization, something like that. Basically, it's just that you have multi core processor it will go out of sync so what you do is you if you have a quite powerful processor you can go to set affinity and turn off every processor except the zero one like this but in my case it just doesn't work it's, my computer is really laggy your game will lag up so what you do is you set priority and you set it to low and you change priority okay and there you go that's pretty much the whole thing set up and that's it and there's one more thing uh, whenever, if you want people to join from the internet you'll need to port forward the um, I'll show you now close this uh, this port here uh, you're on your own on this one because it's different for every router for example my one it's just different from the other way you can do it so basically that's it also, if you want people to join your uh, game, uh, and yourself obviously, uh, you need to get your external and internal IP. Basically, you need to use the internal to join your own server, and external you send it to your friends and they join it when your server is set up. Uh, your internal one is the one that we put in uh, in here, server IP. And then in front of that you just put 25565 separated by the double dot thingy, jiggy, whatever you call it. And that's it, and you just put that into the multiplayer, and you join the game. Uh, just make sure you launch it through this, and that's pretty much it. And uh, also, if you want to find out your external IP, go to cmyip.com, and that C is spelled with a C. And anyway, I'll put it in the description. Every link will be in the description. Don't ask me for it; I won't tell you, because I'm that lazy. And obviously add the per port if this doesn't work out for you you will um, that people can't join it's probably because you didn't port forward it properly that's the only reason there's no other reason maybe I don't know something's wrong with your connection you can try with someone else do, uh, hosting the server that may work but basically this game is not is only fully like it's not fully developed yet so you can't expect much from it so that's pretty much it. I hope you like this uh like this video and guide. I hope you was useful and hope you enjoy playing the game.